<laughs> What's up, babies? This is my last video in this scenery. Um, oh, that's RuPaul's Drag Race in the background. You know I gotta watch my row row. Um, well, I am really officially packing and moving. Not into my own place yet. That will be after this move. After I'm, uh, this is the last move I'm actually making with my mother. Um, I'm really excited. Um, a little nervous. But this is really the end of my moving, if you will, with my mother. So I guess I'm going to show y'all the room. Yes, that's a box right there. Not too much, but you know. I'm ready to go. I'm got my got my stuff packed and I'm ready to get the fuck up out of here. Um So this is my decision. You know, I finally decided to make the decision to make it a priority to um after this move, my mother to these apartments, I'm going to move into my own place. I'm working on getting a job and working on music as usual. Working on music, working on getting myself out there. Hopefully, I'll be doing some shows and trying to get some. A guy wants to talk to me about it. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to make money the legal way. Not illegally. I'm not going to be a whore or a prostitute. But, but. If there's a hot older guy who wants uh, a boy toy, I'm I'm more than happy to oblige you, honey. I'm more than a you know oblige you. Um, this is I think a short video. So yeah, love all of you. Love all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Um, let me see. There's one actually who just subscribed today. Let me see his or her name. Um. What that clicking in the background is I'm on Yahoo with some uh, friends, business partners, if you will. Um, let me see. We just uh, sweet T423. They he or she because I don't want to get anything wrong. Oh lord, I'm sleepy. Sleepy as hell. It looks like a she. So, we're going to say she. She subscribed to my page today. Um, So, you know, I'm just doing my thing on YouTube and doing my thing in life and trying to evaluate my life, if you will, before I make this move so that I can be sufficient enough to be on my own. I'm ready for it. Mentally, physically, I'm ready for it, but... Financially, I'm not. So until I make that, until I make the financial leap, then I, I, you know, I get out there. But it's gonna be in this year. And I'm planning on, I'm want to get my license by July and get me a car by November. I'm making these goals because you know what? I'm sick of saying I'm gonna do stuff and never do it. I'm going to do it, okay? And that's something that all of you need to understand. Don't say what you're gonna do. Do it. I'm going to be doing it, okay? I'm looking for work right now. I'm trying to get, you know, in, in all areas, money, legally. And a sugar daddy, if that works out. But, do what you want to do. Don't sit there and wait. Wait on someone to give you uh, acceptance or whatever. No, fuck that. Do what the fuck you need to do for you. Because in the end, if you wait on someone else to do it, your ass will be sitting here waiting. Hold on. So, yeah, um, do what the fuck you need to do for you. The hell with waiting on someone else to give you approval. The hell with waiting on someone to give you the okay go. No. Um, for me, it's been a long journey. I've kind of led y'all on a little journey. Uh, I'm going to, um, eventually I'm going to be also writing a book um, as well. I'm going to be writing a book about my life. I don't know who wants to read about my little life, but 
I'm going to be uh, writing a book about it, and I'm going to really be focused on things that I want to do in life, that I need to do in life. I'm not going to sit here and wait on no one else. And for my best friend Ashley, my best friend Martika, y'all have really spoke words of encouragement to me that I really appreciate and admire, as well as, you know, Junae, if you're watching this, boo-boo, how you doing? Um, everyone has put a little sparkle in my movement. Janae a little bit. Um, and most importantly, my cousin, HK. He, that's the stage name, it's higher knowledge, because he, he's a smart ass, he's smart as fuck. Um, but I'm going to keep his name through the fact he's in the army. Um, but my cousin, he is on his own. He's from Washington, not Washington, D.C., baby. But he, he's doing his own thing, and he's doing it, you know, like, wow. We grew up in the same hood, okay, people? Grew up in the same hood, same fucked up situations, maybe different ones. But he made it out of that. He's doing, he's doing wonderful. I, I never really told him I need to, but I admire. I think I have. I admire him so much because he's doing things that I think about and that I don't go forth and do. Right after he graduated high school, he went straight to the army because he knew what he because he knew what he wanted in life. He wanted to get out of Atlanta, Georgia. He didn't want to be stuck here with everyone else. You know, our family on my mother's side, and maybe on his father's side, my, my mother's side of family, his mother's side of family, my auntie, they are, you know, they make little little strides here and there. And, but they don't make leaps. And he has done that. And I'm next. I'm doing it now. Um... And I just admire him so much. And then there's this dude that was probably a potential BF, but boyfriend. But they probably didn't. They probably didn't work out. So whatever. Um. And he really lit lit a match under my ass when we had a come. It was our first time talking, and you know our first time meeting up or whatever. And we was just sitting on the bed just talking. And he really made sense in a lot of things. He was like. And, and what is even, you know, he would just let me know, why are you waiting? Why, what's holding you back? And I said, I'm holding myself back. He said, why? Just do it. Just do it. What the hell are you waiting for? And it really just got, and it's a combination of a lot of things. My cousin being out here, me spending a lot of, he was out here for like a week. And I was spending most of my time with him. And he really just, talking with him really just got me pumped like mother. I can do this shit. Why are you waiting? And being with that certain person, I ain't gonna say his name. He know his name. The second. I ain't gonna say your name, but you know who you is. Um, he really lit a match under my ass because I really, hold up, these, these girls are going crazy over here. Uh, but um so he really lit a mat and it, it really scared me because I went through I, I, after settling in and all my emotions you know my cousin left and things like that and then the uh, night with what's my call it I, I called my friend Martika and I said, you know, my girl, I apologize. Um, and I mainly apologize for being such an emotional wreck. Because I leaned on her a lot for emotional support. It used to be someone else, but she was just an emotional crutch because she made me divert from my own emotional problems with her bullshit she made me redirect my my energy 
with her negative energy, which is not healthy, I may add. <laughs> not healthy was a goddamn. Um, and I just told my, you know, Cherry that, you know, I'm start, I'm starting to really see what you're telling me. You know, she used to tell me all the time, you know, stop dwelling on what what was. And, you know, I realized that. And when you realize it, it, it really sticks to you. And me becoming a man, 22, my life is starting to change in ways that I never thought it would. You know, I'm starting to do things differently. And the relationship with my mother, it, it's, it's going to be rocky. And it is rocky. But I'm not going to let our relationship, or lack thereof, determine how I live my life. And this video, I think, is my defining moment. Realizing that I don't have to be this emotional, distraught, destroyed person, brainwashed person that I played and that I've been my whole entire life. I can be a free and happy person. Yeah, truthfully, yeah, truthfully, I do have problems. I do have you know, emotional baggage that I have yet to deal with. But you know what? As a man, I'm going to get that dealt with. As a man, I'm going to stand up and face what is true. I'm going to go forth in my life, do things that I want to do, do things that I need to do for myself, and stop living for other people. And this, I say it again, this is my defining video. So when you see me start, when you see me see other videos, next videos or upcoming videos with me doing things go back to this video go back to this and be like he was right i'm not going to say oh i, I want to do this no i'm going to do this point blank period but i'm gonna get off this thing because i'm probably just rambling but yeah i realized it i am not i am not my emotion I am not my emotional baggage. And that is a uh, strong thing to deal with. So, I love each and every last one of y'all. Good night, good afternoon, good morning. Like I always say, be safe, be fab, and be positive. That was so wrong, but okay. Do you fuck everyone else? Okay? Love all of you. Smooches. Toodaloo.